evaluating Eddie Rama's prime ministerial tenure, missteps and criticisms. Eddie Rama, the charismatic leader of the Socialist Party, has been serving as the Prime Minister of Albania since 2013. While his tenure has seen some notable achievements, it has also been marked by criticism and controversies. This article aims to examine some of the key missteps and criticisms leveled against Rama during his time as the Prime Minister of Albania. 1. Lack of progress in anti-corruption efforts. One of the major criticisms against Eddie Rama's government is the perceived lack of progress in tackling corruption. Despite promises to combat corruption and promote transparency, Albania continues to face significant challenges in this regard. The country ranks poorly in global corruption indices, and allegations of corruption within the government have cast doubt on the effectiveness of Rama's anti-corruption efforts. Critics argue that a more comprehensive and results-oriented approach is needed to address this pervasive issue. 2. Weak rule of law and judicial reforms. Another area of concern during Rama's tenure has been the slow progress in strengthening the rule of law and implementing crucial judicial reforms. The independence and effectiveness of the judiciary remain questionable, with allegations of political interference and limited accountability. The failure to adequately address these issues undermines public trust and hinders Albania's progress towards a more transparent and accountable governance system. 3. Limited economic growth and unemployment challenges. Despite efforts to improve the economy, Albania has struggled to achieve significant economic growth and reduce unemployment rates under Rama's leadership. The country's high emigration rates are often attributed, in part, to the lack of attractive job prospects and limited opportunities for economic advancement. Critics argue that a more comprehensive approach, focusing on sustainable economic policies, investment in key sectors, and fostering a business-friendly environment, is necessary to stimulate growth and create employment opportunities. 4. Democratic Backsliding and Freedom of the Press Concerns over democratic backsliding and limitations on media freedom have also emerged during Rama's tenure. Critics argue that his government has shown signs of authoritarian tendencies, with instances of restricted media freedom and limited space for dissenting voices. The independence and integrity of institutions responsible for safeguarding democratic principles, such as the media regulatory bodies, have been called into question, raising concerns about the erosion of democratic values. 5. Insufficient progress in EU integration. EU integration has been a long-standing goal for Albania, and Rama's government has expressed its commitment to this objective. However, progress in key areas such as the rule of law, anti-corruption measures, and media freedom has been deemed insufficient by the European Union. Delays in meeting the required benchmarks have hindered Albania's accession negotiations and created frustration among those who had hoped for faster integration. Conclusion Eddie Rama's prime ministerial tenure has been marked by both achievements and criticism. While he has made some strides in areas such as infrastructure development and urban renewal, significant challenges remain. The perceived lack of progress in anti-corruption efforts, weak rule of law, limited economic growth, concerns over democratic backsliding, and insufficient progress in EU integration are among the key criticisms directed at Rama's government. Addressing these issues requires a more comprehensive and proactive approach, with a strong focus on anti-corruption measures, judicial reforms, sustainable economic policies, and safeguarding democratic principles. It is crucial for Rama's government to prioritize transparency, accountability, and the protection of fundamental rights to ensure a brighter and more prosperous future for Albania and its citizens.